It seems like some place names around the UK are specifically designed to trip you up. There's nothing worse than getting on a bus and telling the driver that you'd like a ticket to Frome or to Belvoir, only to be swiftly told, it's Froome or it's Beaver. Believe me, this has happened to me a number of times. Now this is not an unusual phenomenon, and it's certainly not limited to those from outside the UK. But many people are now well prepared when it comes to the country's misleading place names. You know that Leicester isn't pronounced Leicester. You know that Gloucester isn't Gloucester. And you might even know that it's Hlanvar Pulkingi Gorgeri Quindrob Cantasilio Gogogoch. Except it probably isn't, because, as Welsh speakers will be smirking right now, I've bungled that pronunciation horribly. But I know the pain of getting some less well-known place names wrong. So in this video, we're going to take a look through a few of the more obscure, but equally confusing place name pronunciations that you might encounter on a trip around the UK. And hopefully, you'll be spared the embarrassment that I've experienced so many times. Let's start in one of the most popular tourist destinations in the UK, Oxford. Don't worry, you're not pronouncing Oxford wrong. But many of the sites in this famous university city are bound to trip you up if you don't come prepared. If you fancy a spot of punting in Oxford, then the best place to do it is on the River Charwell. Not Cherwell, but Charwell. Though bizarrely, the name of the district of Oxfordshire, which the river flows through, is actually called Cherwell, not Charwell. The university's colleges are also well worth visiting. Places like Christchurch, Merton College and more. But make sure to say Balliol College instead of Balliol and try to wrap your head around the reasoning behind Magdalen College when, just a few streets away, there's a church known as St Mary Magdalene. But Oxford is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to unusual place name pronunciations. About 90 miles to the north of the university city, you'll find a stunning Leicestershire manor house known as Beaver Castle. That's right, fight the sophisticated French instinct within you and don't say Belvoir, but Beaver a bizarre pronunciation that's said to derive from the fact that Anglo-Saxon people couldn't pronounce the French-influenced name when the Normans rocked up in England in the 11th century. Head all the way up to Scotland, meanwhile, and there's a wealth of place names that are pronounced by locals like it's second nature, but which can leave you feeling red-faced if you get them wrong. The northern reaches of Scotland are dominated by a huge inlet of the North Sea known as the Murray Firth, not the Moray Firth as the spelling seems to suggest. And if you're visiting the beautiful Scottish Highlands, chances are you'll be wanting to take in the stunning views across Loch Ness from the enchanting ruins of the medieval Urquhart Castle, located just outside the comparatively simple Drum na Drochet. But it's not just in the depths of the Highland countryside that you'll encounter unusual pronunciations. Scotland's big cities too are laden with traps, so remember that when you're in Glasgow, it's Sorky Hall Street, and in Edinburgh, it's Coburn Street, not Cockburn, and it's Holyrood, not Holy Rood. Holyrood, a historic heart of power and authority in Scotland, rhymes with Hollywood, not the star-studded district of Los Angeles, but the beautiful suburban town on the outskirts of Belfast in Northern Ireland. Though, despite its pronunciation, the name does derive from a holy wood, a forest that was once the site of a monastery. Northern Ireland is home to a wide variety of complex pronunciations, owing to its blend of place names deriving from both English and Irish. Though the southern side of Belfast Loch is a particular minefield, Hollywood neighboured by Cultraw, not Cultra, and near the mouth of the loch, the wonderful seaside city of Bangor. Bangor, deriving its name from Irish, is the newest city in Northern Ireland, but it coincidentally shares its name with the oldest city in Wales just across the sea that being Bangor, spelt exactly the same, but which derives from Welsh, and as such, is pronounced slightly differently, Bangor. Of course, the impact of differing and constantly evolving Celtic languages has led to a number of these complex pronunciations. But in the middle of the sea between Great Britain and Ireland, you'll find an island home to a Celtic language of its own. The Isle of Man, though not officially a part of the UK, is home to the Manx language, whose influence appears in a number of initially misleading places around the island, from the village of Andres, which at first looks like the Spanish Andreas, to the second largest settlement on the Isle of Man, pronounced Onken, which trips up many by resembling the Japanese Onchan. But of course, by virtue of being the UK's largest nation by far, England is without doubt home to the most unusually pronounced place names. 
towns, villages, and even cities whose names are said in a manner seemingly totally inconsistent with their spelling. And this happens in every corner of the country. The county town of Northumberland, England's most northerly county, is Annick, spelt with a silent L and a silent W for good measure. You might know Annick as the home of the castle, which starred as Hogwarts in the first two Harry Potter movies. And if you're visiting, it's always good to be able to pronounce the town's name before you get there. Though, if you're coming by train, the nearest train station to Annick is located in the neighbouring village of Alnmouth. And further inland on the other side of Annick is the tiny hamlet of Alnum, all of which take their name from the river Alne that flows through them. So you'll find inconsistencies even when you travel just a few miles in distance. But if you venture further across the hundreds of miles of English land, you'll encounter many more irregularly pronounced place names, from Gisborough to Quorma in the north, to Wyndham and Haysborough in East Anglia. And if you head out to the west of the country, things don't get any easier, with Lempster riding roughshod over basic vowel sounds, and the Cornish village of Mausel tripping up many a visitor on their way. In beautiful Somerset, meanwhile, is good old Froome once even named as the most difficult to pronounce place name in the entire country, with a whole world of confusion hidden within its deceptively simple five-letter spelling. But now you know. If you're hopping on a bus, you won't make the same mistake as I did. It's Froom, not from. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if your town has its own unusual pronunciation.